from Baltimore, welcome inside Oriole Park at Camden Yards. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Coming up on the first pitch and towing the slab, Dean Kremer. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, this guy featuring that straight forcing fastball, but off of it throws the cutter. And really, he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the forcing fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. One, now, it's going to look the same until the very last second, so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. And down on strikes. One out in the top of the first. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. One down, base is empty. That one down the line foul and foul ball. Two two now. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Santander drifts towards it, hauls it in, two away. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Next pitch misses way outside. Righty delivers. On the ground right side, and that's a base hit. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. The batter now will be Will Smith. The throw to first, and they get the out on Smith. And that is that. One left for L.A. Orioles do up in the first, no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and on the hill, the southpaw from Mexico, Julio Urias. What should we keep an eye on here? Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. The pitch. And one and two. Kicks and deals. That one ran inside, almost got him. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hayward sizing this one up, snags it on the run. One away. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Swing, and this one's bounced to on the ground. Throw on to Freeman, Ow. and here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Batting third, the first baseman, 
Yes. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Singing Ryan Mountcastle, a former first-round pick by the Orioles in 2015. Here's the thing that gets me, though. He owns his own karaoke machine. And can I tell you, I've never done karaoke in my life. You got to try it sometime. Singy, what's your go-to karaoke song? Yeah, probably some song that'll cost us too much to mention in this broadcast. And a pitch. And that ball one two. is inside. Two balls, two strikes. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Orioles held in check there. Scoreless after one. Top of the second. And at the plate for the Dodgers, David Peralta. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Peralta. Good eye right there. Down the middle for a strike. Two and two. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Here's Jason Hayward. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. James Outman now at the plate. And the right-hander deals. Hard hit to third. Tosses across the first. And that is that. Three up, three down for him there. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Aaron Hicks. This has always been the better side for Aaron Hicks. The 2-2 now. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Now the batter now, Jordan Westberg. The 1-1. Swings through that one. with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here Hicks aboard here at first with nobody out Swings and lines a base hit into left field Peralta whips it back in Rudder stops at second and the first two reach to start the inning. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And here is Gunnar Henderson. Grounder might be two. Quickly to second for one. On to Freddie. Double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Ball to strike, the pitch. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. And they'll score first. It's one zip. 
just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Here is James McCann, and oh. that's downstairs and outside. That misses no. the zone, and that's ball three, three. And a pitch. And there's ball, ball four. four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, that's and a chance stop. for this offense to add on to their lead. Jorge Mateo now. The 2-1. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Okay. And that one almost got him. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back. On to the third inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. The why to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. That misses the zone, and the count's full. High fly ball out into left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Austin Barnes. Austin Barnes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The 2 1. On the ground to third. Throws across the diamond, and that quickly two away. Up next for the Dodgers, the second baseman, Mookie Betts. Here's Mookie to hit. He's 0 for 1. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Started after the 1 2 pitch, appeal to first, and that's a swing according to umpire Ed Drummond. This one high in the air to left center. Hicks is there for it, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers down in order, still behind by a count of 1 to nothing. Back here in Baltimore, and now it's Austin Hayes. No left fielder. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. The one-two. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And there's one away. Anthony Santander at the plate. Grounded out his first time up. The next offering misses. And it's 2-1. Two 
Called strike right there. Next pitch is outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. So now three and two. The punch out there. Now two out. The center fielder, number 34. Here's Aaron Hicks. Singled and scored his first time. The pitch. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. One for one, he singled the left his first time through. Ball. Next one is off the plate, and yeah, that's ball two. Good spot for the hitter, definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Swing and a miss. Two, two ball. balls, two, two strikes. Strike. Next offering is foul back. Now the lefty Ball, just throw. inside, and now it is filled up. Gunnar Henderson waiting on deck for the Orioles. Now fly ball to right center. Hayward on the move to the alley. He can't get there. It's a base hit. One run is in. Another comes in to score. And they lead by three. A two-run double. Next is the designated hitter, Gunnar Henderson. 0 for 1 so far. One one is fouled off. Westberg stands at second with two gone. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. But they'll pick up a couple runs here. Both coming on this two-run double. It's now 3-0. New inning getting started. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. The first base is number five. 
Freddie Freeman. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The next pitch oh. misses. Ball two. And right back to the mound. Over to first. That's, That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Up next to the Dodgers. The third base. Max Muncie Max. at the dish. Muncy. And he's already singled in this game. Left hand hitter waits. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Grounded out his first time. The 1 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Righty to the plate. That's a ball. And that one is lifted in the air. Hayes has it sized up. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Up next to the dodge, the left fielder, David. Peralta. David Peralta at the plate. Two outs. Just off the inside edge. It's a good take. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Whips it to Mountcastle, third out, and that ends the frame. Dodgers strand a couple, still down, three nothing. Bottom of the inning and into the box for Baltimore, Ramon Urias for the Orioles, the third baseman. Here comes a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And another oh, ball. Yeah. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Caleb Ferguson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Bickford, a right hander, loosening up as well.
And here it comes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One out in the bottom of the fourth. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit oh, the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. James McCann in now. A guy who's turned himself into a good framer. He was originally drafted by the Tigers. Second round pick in 11. Next offering. Pop foul off to the right out of play. And a payoff pitch. Good plate oh, appearance oh, there. Oh. Able to take the walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really no close Number pitches three. and Good somehow job. Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Ball to strike. Good That's eye right shot. there. In the air, left field. He's got it. Two away. Up next for the Orioles. No left fielder. Austin. Hayes. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. There's a strange wind. McCann, the runner at first with two gone. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Makes the grab, and that ends the inning. And the Orioles leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back now at Oriole Park, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. The center fielder, number 33, James Outman. Ground ball right side, and that chance handled. Throws to first, Got him, and out. a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the, the ball out of the, the air. Let's the defense work Miguel. behind him with another ground ball. Rojas. Good execution. Miguel Rojas at the play. He's 0 for 1. Two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Next one misses. Three and two down. Movement in the bullpen. Edward Bizzardo is up and throwing for Brandon High. Cologne, a left-hander, also throwing. On the ground to third. Whips it across. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Now batting. Catcher, Austin Barnes. And here is Austin Barnes. Pitch misses oh. there, and a count two and one. There's ah. a strike. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Now he breaks his bat, and that's just foul. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He's there. He's got it. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail it here, 3-0. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Now, Caleb Ferguson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there.
Next ball. offering misses, and that's ball two. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Racing makes the catch. Then there's one down. Now batting, first baseman. And next for the Orioles, Ryan Mountcastle, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Way outside, now two balls and a strike. Next offering is fouled back. Next one is off the play. Three and two now. And he walked him. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Or are just we supposed to bring something? Zingy, I think just Aaron. our presence is the present. It's Aaron Hicks now. A switch hitter batting right. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The one two left field Peralta drops steps heads back on it can't get there and now maybe extra bases safe at second with a double third hit for him this afternoon and he's out on the tag Jordan Westberg the next to hit for the Orioles really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field off the mark there. Two balls and a strike. The two Ball on three. is high. Three balls, one strike. Lined, and that's a base hit. Hicks coming home. Not in time. He's safe. And it's 4-0. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Now, Gunnar Henderson. And now two balls and a strike. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Got him looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Five innings complete. It's the Orioles four and the Dodgers nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six, and now it's Mookie Betts. The wind of the pitch. That one missed. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. The pitch. Bounced up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a throw and they don't get an out on the play. All over that one right there. Really protecting with two strikes right there. Pitch wasn't even close, but man, he got the barrel to it somehow. Nice job of bad ball hitting. And now Freddie Freeman and that one handled. Good feed. That's one. On to first, double play. 
For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Two outs, base is empty. And next for L.A., Max Muncy. Next ball. pitch misses, and that's ball three. three one. Three, two now. Out. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Orioles four and the Dodgers nothing. Welcome back. Well, we go bottom Leading six. Off. Here's the third Orioles. baseman, Ramon Urias. Well, Ramon Urias, spectacular defender, won a gold glove in 2022 and became the first Orioles third baseman to win a gold glove since, you know who, boo? Manny Machado. That's right, in 2015. And yeah. that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The catcher, James now the Orioles catcher, James McCann. The one, two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next offering is foul back. On the ground to the left, and it stays fair. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying going, as a hitter. Going, and there he goes. Out towards right center field. Hayward pulls it down, and there's two gone. So back to the okay. top of the Orioles lineup. Here's the Orioles leadoff hitter, Austin Hayes. Hayes coming back around. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Now Everyone gets a All walk, right, boo. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One and two now. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Orioles strand a couple, but they're in front 4-0. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Edward Bizzardo. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's now in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Number 67, Edward Bizzardo. One and two here. Got him. And there's one down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Peralta checks his swing. Appeal down to third. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. And a 3-1 on the way. Out to short, Mateo. Tosses to first, and two away to start the seventh. Now batting, right fielder. Two outs, Jason base is empty. Hayward. And now the right fielder, Jason Hayward.
The wind of the pitch. So now one and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Right-handed reliever. And it's filled up. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Dodgers go down quietly. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Phil Bickford. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Dodgers. Number 52, Phil Bickford. At the play, Ryan Mountcastle. The first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. And he deals. Check swing. He held up. And it's two and one. Action in the pen down there. Yancy Almonte looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Two one now. Ground ball up the middle into the outfield base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Next pitch has popped up. Rojas under it. And it's caught for the out. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused oh, him to pop it up. Man at first, Jordan Westberg will hit next. At the belt and fires. Pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Righty delivers upstairs. And here's a 3 2. And ball, ball four, four to a board. Didn't miss by much right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside now corner. The designated hitter. Gunner Henderson, the next to hit. And a 2 1 on the way. Swings and he pops it up near the pitcher's mat. And the infield fly rule call. So first and second with two outs. Ramon Urias digs in now. One for three. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Mountcastle, the lead runner out at second. Westberg on at first with two down. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Started to go up to one two a check on it to third and yes he did that's a swing according to Earl Hendricks the wind and the pitch a little bit low, low. got him looking for the K 
Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And down on strikes. That's out number two. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And it's even up. Two, two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 2-2. Two, two. That one the other way. Nice grab. Generally, not the type of great... Back here at the ballpark, out of the bottom of the eighth. And now, James McCann. 1-1 one, one to McCann. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. The punch out there, and now one away. So next to hit for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. The pitch. And strike two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Very high with that one. Two balls, two strikes. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes a nice run of catch. And there are two outs. Now batter. The left fielder. Austin. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Hayes. There's a strange wind blowing. It's coming. Next Ball. pitch downstairs. And a count to an on. Right side, hard hit. Sends it to first. Out. Three up, three down, inning over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. But they lead it four to nothing. Back here in Baltimore, all set to start the ninth in this one. Here's Mookie now. In the air, left field. Hicks makes the play, one away. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And a 1-1. Try to get oh. him to chase on the change up that time. In the air, out towards left center. Squeezes it. Out number two. So they're down to their final out. Now here is Max Muncy. The 1-1. One, one. No. And that one clips the corner. Right through there. Got him. And that'll do it. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. A 4 nothing shutout in this one as the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.
Final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Orioles. Four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Dodgers, no runs. Four hits. No errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.